forth before your people, marching with them and living among them. The earth trembled, heavens poured down rain. Hallelujah. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ, who risen from the dead, be with all of you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who restore human nature to yet greater dignity than at its beginnings. Look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness, and in those you have chosen to make new through the wonder of rebirth, may you preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Paphos, Paul, Paul and his companions set sail and arrived in Perga and Pamphylia. But John left them and returned to Jerusalem. They continued on from Perga and reached Antioch and Pisidia. On the Sabbath, they entered into the synagogue and took their seats. After reading of the law and prophets, the synagogue officials sent word to them, My brothers, if one of you has a word of exhortation for the people, please speak. So Paul got up, motioned with his hand, and said, Fellow children of Israel, and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of this people, Israel, chose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm, he led them out, and for about 40 years, he put up with them in the desert. When he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance at the end of about 450 years. After these things, he provided judges up to Samuel the prophet. Then they asked for a king. God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man from the tribe of Benjamin, for forty years. Then he removed him and raised up David as the king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial song. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever, Forever I will sing the goodness, goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever, Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found David, my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him that my hand may always be with him, and that my arm may make him strong. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. My 
faithfulness and mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. message. 
And it'll lead up to what we just heard today. So Monday, Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. I am the good shepherd. Monday. Tuesday, you probably didn't, uh, if you were watching the video stream, you probably didn't hear it because we had just the word service, but I'm sure you looked it up and you were reading Tuesday's gospel. Again from John. Here's the core message. The Father and I are one. is the Father's message. That was Wednesday. Today. Believe in me. I am. But the betray uh, betrayals continue. And here's another message. Even though we heard where Jesus just finished feeding his disciples, and they are now hopefully full of faith and beginning to really understand who this Jesus really is, he is from the Father. He is the personification of the Father. He is God among them. But yet there is a betrayer in their midst. And that betrayer takes off and does what he wanted to do in the first place. And it was a cash deal. Well, what a cash deal did was got them, got him in trouble. And he realized it. He truly realized it. But that was today. Whoever ate my food has raised his heel against me. And this continues. This continues. People are told about the word of God. Oh yes, I believe. Oh yes, I believe. Yes, I believe, and I'm going to do my own thing. And the cycle continues. And Jesus told us, stop. Believe in me. Turn away from what you are doing. Turn towards me. And so that's the message. Stop betraying. Stop looking to your own delights. <clears throat> Look to the Lord. And then there is tomorrow's gospel that I won't go into right now. But just look it up. If you would like, it is John 14, verses 1 to 6. You have heard this gospel. You have heard this gospel on special occasions. So when you read this gospel, you will understand what I am saying. You will also understand the message that Jesus is giving us. He continues to give us the message over and over and over again.
God the Father has given us his Son for the resurrection of his people. We now turn with confidence to the Father and say, May the Lord Jesus be our very life. May, May the Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus be our very life. As a pillar of fire, you lighted the way for your people in the desert. Through his resurrection, may Christ be today the light of our life. We pray, may the Lord Jesus be our very life. Through the voice of Moses, you taught your people from the mountain. Through his resurrection, may Christ be today the light of our life. We pray, may the Lord Jesus be our very life. You fed your pilgrim people with your gift of manna. Through his resurrection, may Christ be today the light of our life, we pray. May the Lord Jesus be our very life. You gave your people water from the rock. Through his resurrection, may Christ be today the light of our life, we pray. May the Lord Jesus be our very life. Today we pray for the special intention of Cesar uh, Gudino, let us, and for all, all other special, in, all our special intentions, let us pray to the Lord. May, May the Lord, Lord Jesus be our very life. We pray for the repose of the soul of Edna Lauer, Larissa Yaniki, Johnny Henderson, Ernestina Gomez. We pray to the Lord. May, May the Lord, Lord Jesus be our very life. And we also pray in thanksgiving for the gift of life, especially that of Amanda Tejerina on her birthday today. May she, God continue to shower many blessings of joy, good health, and love with her uh, dear husband, Eric, and beloved daughter, Belen, who are here present. We pray to the Lord. May the Lord Jesus be our very life. For continuous recovery of those who have uh, had any procedure, um, uh, Eddie Winkler, um, Joseph Durak, and uh, Pat Marbach. Anybody else need help? Any other intentions? For the mother's health and the Lord. We pray to the Lord. May the, the Lord, Lord Jesus be our very life. Lord Jesus Christ, our divine physician, we ask you to guard and protect us from coronavirus, COVID-19, and all serious illness. For all that have died from it, have mercy. For those that are ill now, bring healing. For those searching for a remedy, enlighten them. For medical caregivers, helping the sick, strengthen and shield them. For those working to contain the spread, grant them success. For those afraid, grant peace. May your precious blood be our defense and salvation. By your grace, may you turn the evil of disease into moments of consolation and hope. May we always fear the contagion of sin more than any illness. We abandon ourselves to your infinite mercy. Are you, Lord God of all creation? For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy people. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered by your, to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Our way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When, when we eat the spread and drink the cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, Gustavo, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. To him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. Forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say it together Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. we close our eyes in thanksgiving for this gift from heaven we receive we are mindful of the many brothers and sisters that um, are at home and cannot receive uh, the blessed sacrament of Jesus in the Eucharist um, may they be nourished by a special grace from God as if it were up to them they would receive the host, the sacred host. But we stand with them in prayer and we lift up our prayers to God on their behalf for well-being, for protection, that all their plans and all their projects prosper according to God's will. That everyone, you know, the children, the youth, adults, and the most vulnerable, the elderly, uh, be well for the healing of those who have contracted the virus and eternal rest of those who have died. Those who are ill in hospitals, not only from coronavirus, any other illness or procedures, uh, the pain of not being able to be accompanied by loved ones because of their restrictions. But we stand in this together. We take comfort in knowing that God is in control and all will be well. And in due time we'll see why God has allowed this to happen for the world, that there will be something better, a silver lining already that we can see in our lives. I wish, my Lord, to receive you with the purity, humility, and devotion with which your most holy mother received you, with the spirit and fervor of the saints. 
Let's recite the Alina Christi prayer on your little handout. Alina Christi. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O Lord Jesus, hear me. Within my wounds, hear me. Separate me from the beauty of my inner man.